let us begin our prologue of this final night of Shadowbringers by speaking with the Dayside Chief and taking on the last quest for the Yorha Apocalypse story arc entitled Whence the Heart Leads. Your work restoring Kamra to its former glory may be finished, but the Dayside Chief's not quite done with you yet. Lally, I can't thank you enough. Ho! Karma is looking like its old self again. Better if we're honest. You can see that for yourself, though, so let me tell you something you don't know. Yeah, do tell. I hear that automata of dwarven make have been spotted about you more of late. Signature frog motif and all. Now, where would those city folk have gotten their hands on artists for a tree like that? We certainly haven't been pounding them to outsiders. Uh, you aside. I can I can think of one dwarf who might be though, one with the right skills and little else to his name. Yeah, who do you think it is? If it is Conog, well, I have a lot to say to him. I'm sorry for starters. And it'd be nice if he could see how far we've come. The new camera. I'd like to think he'd be happy here. Well, I hope you're right about that. Anyway, seeing as how you're the worldly sort, I don't know how too much trouble picking up this trail in Yulemore. Let me know what you find. Alright. So yeah, it'll be to Yulemore for our next destination. Yeah, you wouldn't expect them to go out this far, the dwarves. But as we've seen, especially with the Cardinal Virtue bonus quest, they can see just what the world has to offer. So of course, since we're going into Yomori, it'll be a busy night tonight. So, our person of interest is going to be past the pond. And we'll see what this person has to say. This bourgeois merchant. I've got gold, I've got jewels, I've got gold plated jewels. Well, I'm not really into that, I need to ask you something. Not interested in my wares, pity. I did see a dwarf in block though, yes. Old little fellow came selling one of those gog contraptions. Not quite to my personal taste, but rare fine to be sure. He placed an order as well, paid in advance. Say, if you're looking for the chap anyway, would you save me some time and take it to him? I guess I can do that. He mentioned that he was sleeping down in the derelicts. Oh lad, as I said, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the place, but fortunately he drew him up to his preferred hovel. And he's decided to take a residence all the way down there. Yeah, we don't even have to warp down to the derelicts in order to try and find where he could have gone and where he's staying. So yeah, let's take a tour of the derelicts and see if we can't find Conog. Well, it looks like we found him on camera. And perhaps to no surprise, he's decided to basically, well, he was already kicked out of his tribe, so it doesn't matter if he takes his hat off or not. Wait just a little longer, Anahog. With the machine's technology, I can bring you back. I will! So, what did he do in order to accomplish this? Yeah, went over a lot of books. I'll make it work. I will. I will. Yeah, but do any of those books have any correlation to what the machines have been doing? Well, if this is any indication, that'll be a no. I can't. And you can only imagine how long he was trying to find an answer. I can't. 
He is dr banging his head in the pouring rain. I'm not... not good enough! Never good enough! I can't! And then one day when he's sleeping on the mats... And I, I can't do this! I can't live in a world without you! I just can't! Yeah, you can tell he's had a pretty rough. We hear footsteps. Is that me? Well, as Conlog picks himself up. Yeah. That look of shock in his face? Are we sure this is Relianog or the doppelganger he found? You're such a crybaby. Are you the real deal? Anog? The one and... Well, suffice it to say that I'm back. Thanks to your hard work and my innate genius, of course. And he's like, Oh, is this real? Am I dreaming? Anog, I have nowhere to go. I'm all alone. That was before! You have me now! Yeah, take my hand. And don't you dare say we have nowhere to go! There's a whole world waiting for us, Conog! He's like, do you mean it? And away they go, hand in hand. Off into the blinding lights. And then, for something I had no idea that Square Enix was um, calculating, as we see the remnants of Conog's hat and everything's in monochrome, they do something here that's your credits for the Yorha arc, but they do it that they show you who chose in terms of percentage to side with the dwarves when you were when you starting out when you first completed the puppet's bunker and as you can see by a margin of two to one on pretty much every single server regardless of data center regardless of where they were in the world by a two to one margin people were siding with anog and if you want to know if you did not actually pay attention to what i was doing and what my choice was I was in the minority. I chose to go with Conog for this particular quest, and as far as these percentages go, I'm guessing these are calculated as of right now. Um, I don't know if these percentages will keep changing as more and more people complete complete the story arc, um, or if they just did it um, after the completion of Patch 5.1. They just told everyone, "Hey, here's who everyone chose." And what's weird, as we show that Anog was chosen by 60 to 32 percent on Exodus, is that the more um, is that more people in North America and Europe chose Anog. No, no server went 70 percent on Anog, but there were a lot of servers in Europe that got as high as 69 percent support for Anog's efforts. Yeah. I've never seen credits that were this weird before, but that's the extent of them. And then everything fades to gray. And so, that is the end, <laughs> I guess. But not quite. Because we haven't officially completed the quest yet, so we have to do that first. Also, hey there, Papio. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. So, I finally arrived! Later that night. Only to find there's no one there. 
But he did leave a pot of soup behind. Don't know if it's spoiled. And a lot of bucks are all over the place and some bottles of mead. Or dwarven grog or whatever it is. They say it's mead, but... Yeah, this guy also showed up here too. So yeah, in case officially where you were wondering where he is, he actually wasn't that far from the glory gate itself. He, he was pretty much right in front of it. Can I step through? I don't think I can. But yeah, I was expecting him to be on the opposite end of the derelicts. Yeah, it turns out he wasn't that far from the front door. If things were still the way they were back when there was perpetual light, you probably would not have been surprised to see a dwarf like Connog possibly trying to make his way into this place. Of course, with nowhere to go after being exiled from the Gogs, it would not have surprised me if someone like him would have ended up in a place like this. So let's touch down and speak with the chief to complete the quest officially. Lolly, don't keep me in suspense, ho! Did you find Connog? Well, not quite. I found his workshop, but I don't know where he's gone. You're right that he's in Yulmore, but now... Yeah, he's not there anymore. That's disappointing. Still, I appreciate you letting me know all the same. Yeah, it turns out I got something else on him. What's that you have there? Some kind of fancy mead? Yeah, I guess I could say that. Connog, but what's it for? Aside from the obvious, I mean. I think you'd appreciate it if you pass it on to the woman who was injured, or just make sure Connog gets it when it comes home. Well, under the circumstances, let's make sure that the gift that was originally meant to be given is actually given to the person who wanted, to, who Connog wanted to have it received. I will. I only wish things hadn't turned out like this. What happened to the village was bad enough, but then everyone was at each other's throats and Anog and Connog were gone. Don't even get me started on the Glag debacle. I keep turning it all over my mind, and I see nothing but the mistakes we made. And I wonder, how can any of us be sure that we won't make a mess of things again? I don't know. Maybe we can't. Maybe we just try to remember every single day how bloody wrong we probably are, and we learn to live with that. Maybe that's the only answer we get. And with that, this quest officially ends, as does the story arc with 1015 gil and the instrumental version of the Weight of the World Orchestra Unroll, which is of course the boss theme from the Puppet's Bunker. And we also get the achievement, Inner Truth. And there we go. The Orha Apocalypse 24-player raid story arc finally comes to an end.